All right, guys, breaking down uh, some of the ruling, getting Jason some of the things that uh, we need to focus on to get it so that he's crushing worlds um, next year. Okay, um, so some of the things we have to work on is Jason switching sides in half butterfly guard. Some of that is his close guard. Some of that is coming up on these kind of positions. So as the coach, guys, it's my job to make sure that Jason gets to see these positions, especially if we don't have a lot of people playing these certain things in class. So uh, his last world match, he went against a guy who had a very good close to Delahiva guard. So that will be a strong focus of ours, especially people who have strong um, grips on the ankle. So that's going to be kind of for top position where Jason is going to be focusing on for a little bit. So in this spot... Jason did a good job of keeping posture in my close guard, so I opened up as he starts to stand up, make our swing into Delahiva guard. And guys, remember, the whole point of training is to go at a pace um, that where you're not trying... So you're trying to win, but remember, there's no winning in training. So right now, guys, because Jason is working on very, very specific things, this is me only going to be fucking Jason up if he makes a major mistake. If Jason is doing a good job, I would be a bad coach and bad training partner if I didn't let Jason work through the positions. And it's very, very important, I think, in my opinion, for coaches not to just take a smash position where all they do is fucking destroy their students. But if their student is doing something correctly, don't throw an unnecessary roadblock in there. Let them work through a complete correct rep so that they get good muscle memory on it, especially because Jason isn't going to be seeing a lot of close guard or Delahiva guard specifically yet in this gym because our gym is so new. Um, so just things to think about for other coaches out there, people who want to be good training partners. If you have somebody that you know is going to competition, work with them on stuff, okay? This is a good spot here too, guys. Jason does a good job using his hip to keep this shoulder pinned as he starts to get his legs in good position to start to clear this. Now, I will say this, though. Had Jason's belt not been so loose, he would have gotten swept and tilted here onto his back, which comes back to me always talking about, guys, these belts need to be tied so that they come off as you're rolling. That is a very, very strong grip. In fact, probably one of the strongest grips in all of jiu-jitsu is the belt. Um, you don't want that thing staying on you, okay? Get the fuck out of the way, Brian. Uh, so that's another thing, Jason, that we need to start maybe getting some more reps in on. Um, so use my legs to get underhook. So I want you... <laughs> we got to start dealing with the underhook a little bit more because this allowed me to immediately go on the offense and put you on the defense. We want to make those transitions a little bit different so that you're not... You don't become uh, behind the eight ball as soon as somebody gets underhook. I'm going to skip forward just a little bit, guys, because Jason's got to fix his belt here. And then we pull guard and we talk a little bit more. Because um, Jason was um, Jason was tired. Everybody gets tired rolling, guys. But Jason was more tired than normal on this one. Still probably feeling some of the after effects of certain diseases. Good. In fact, there, Jason, I would have liked to have seen you... I'd like to see you just stand here. I think you would have been fine to stand over me and start to do the uh, um, uh, log splitter. Now I have foot tight on your hips, kind of preventing your thigh and knees from closing distance. Um, yep. When you feel the space, get out. Check in which direction you're going to be going in right here. Yeah, you do a really good job passing open and at a distance. It's really just, I think you do fine typically passing to Lahiva. You did the right thing that we worked on before there, killing, clearing grip. It's really just closed. Uh, so right there. So Jason, what happened here that you didn't just continue with the knee cut? Like, I felt like you are in good position. This hand could have easily pulled up on here. Like, me coming under your foot right here, um, b just because your knee is so buried, shouldn't have... You should have still been able to knee cut pass. I, uh, I think your hand, you were too focused on uh, basing on the hand instead of pulling up on my arm at that point. So just something to keep in mind right there. So back to close, kind of messing with Jason, letting him know, like, hey, we can start to get grips here. 
Um, and then I think in about 10 to 15 seconds, yeah, right here. So guys, now I finally sink the deep grip because it's important that Jason gets used to these guys who are going to get that one deep grip in, make him cognizant, like, hey, you can still get choked here. Jason deals with everything appropriately like he should. But now it's the posture control that comes with a deep grip that Jason, we're going to have to start working on a little bit more. So pummeling your head out of these positions because um, I think you would have been much better had you circled your head here. Uh, and underneath and out so that it's no longer a good cross-collar grip. And then we get into a nice scramble here, but these guys end up being uh, being too close. I wanted to see if I could have gotten the Barambolo on you after we get get this sweep. Is it here or a little bit later? Yeah, right here. So start to tilt. You do a good job of retilting as I go, and I wanted to see if I could have Barambolo'd right there, but we were, we were stuck. You had a good grip, though, on the pant. And if I had gone to Barambola, you know, just keep shrimping your hips away from me as much distance between our hips as possible as best as you use that grip to punch my legs in the opposite direction, which creates even more distance between our hips. And because you are on top there, it should be easier for you to get your shoulder pointed down towards the ground um, to win that position. So good job, buddy. We'll keep working on it. Lots of grinding and lots of time.